Hi everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna buy me to XRP. Once again, thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So, like I always say to you, patience is key with XRP. This particular project here, uh, the weekly CKB 20 EMA target, has now actually been met. It was a patient journey, all the way from these lows that we put in in June, you know, holding these bags and bump, come up, and we've met that 20, which is where I've actually swung a bit of profit, you know, and I'm hopefully gonna come back, find a level of support. I will try and get a, a CKB video out to you, uh, you know, for those that follow that particular uh, coin right there. But that's the the opportunity that I think we're looking at on on a lot of the coins here. Potentially, uh, you know, XRP is one of those as well. And like I've always said to you, patience is key with XRP. So you can see in this instance, CKB ran into the ten, came back for a high level support, got some kind of little pop here, and then boom, met the twenty eventually. And like I said to you, you know, this potentially, if this is bottoming out right now, then you're going to start to work your way back up through the fibs. We need to each one as resistance coming back to a high level of support. So right now, immediately, I could tell you right now that this trend line on the chart, you know, I will getting a ckb uh, video out to you this trend line could be a really good support if we do start to see it roll again and equally the 10 ema is support right now because you've broken through the 10 uh, ema and you're running into the 20. If you coil up break the 20 your next level is on the 55 and that's how it all works okay so anyway you know i'm i just think we we're looking at this perfect setup for for xrp because of the other extension so this particular coin ckb is potentially giving us a looking glass into what we're looking at for bitcoin and crypto when everyone's becoming even more bearish and you know for continuation to the downside so anyway you know that was a fantastic trade i think there was around about 80 percent uh, from the lows which was this white line here that we put uh, you know bids in right down there on the coin as well so it's been amazing so anyway let's dive into the xrp chart right now so looking at XRP on the weekly time frame then, okay, I'm going to try and find some support levels and good entry points for a trade that's coming up potentially for XRP. You can see we've got the resistance of the 10 EMA coming down. We've got this support right now. So something's going to give, you know, you're not going to go sideways here for too much longer. You've got this level of resistance, this support, and this ascending level support. You've got some kind of apex that's going to start to form here for XRP and some kind of break. You know, whether or not it's to the downside or to the upside, this is going to be highly tradable. So what we're going to look at on the hourly time frame is some retracement levels that we're going through right now. So, you know, the fact that CKB has retraced all the way to the 20, is it giving the game away that this is what we're looking at for the crypto markets right here okay and the ckb is actually front running those markets at the moment by retracing basically so it's absolutely possible you know or is it you know just a fake out and we're looking at some kind of you know consolidation pattern here where we are going to continue for xrp you know and, and, and potentially putting lower lows who knows but right now let's take a look at the hourly time frame and see what's going on so if we look at XRP on the hourly time frame, you can see that this is a key low right now. And I think that if you lose this low down here that you put on the 6th of September, it could actually be really, really bearish for XRP. So, you know, and you could actually go short at that level as well. So what I'm looking at right now is potential that all we're doing at the moment is retracing to this low that we put on the 6th of September. Okay, so that's your key low. That currently sits at 03130. See the loss of that low. And I think that what you've got is an impulsive wave down and you would be looking at coming down to these levels, you know, and you could actually go short at that uh, point as well if you do start to see xrp lose that low at one at the one fib at 0310 you could go short on buy bit or bit get the it's entirely up to you the links in each and every single video description but you could be looking at impulsive wave down around about 8.6 percent down to the 1618 at 02859 which would a retest of this low that you're putting down there and it would actually lose that low that you're putting down there as well which would indicate you're in a larger impulsive wave to the downside right here so what is xrp doing you know in my opinion at the moment all you're doing is retracing you've not lost this low at the moment so you've got this potential impulsive break and right now you're retracing to that uh, low just there so as you as you're fully aware i've taught you before xrp loves the 702 fib so me personally what i'm looking at right now i'm looking to go long with a stop loss on the 786 okay so i'm building some long positions on buy bit just there on the 702 fib at 03270 because i think that you know potentially if this has got one more wave left in it that could be a really really good area of support and i've shown you so many times how xrp loves the 702 fib so at the minute this is your low this is your high and this is potentially retracement to that low it will no longer be a retracement it will be something called you know a reversal wave if you start to see xrp lose the one fib and this is what i try to do on the channel I try to show you the optimal entry points at the moment you can see we've bounced off the golden ratio but there is a possibility here that this is some kind of wave one this is a wave two and right now it's a wave three 
it was the wave four and right now you're looking at a final fifth wave down there because like i said to you the market moves in waves yeah so right now you could be looking at a final fifth wave down there to the 702 fib at 03270 where i would actually you know look to go long at that point with your stop loss on the 786 fib at 03230 because if that is the case you've got a potential great upside here for a very minimal risk okay around about 1.18 percent uh, for xrp now to negate this particular breakdown all we have to do is obviously start to come back up here and break this eye because like i said to you the market moves in waves i think that what we've got potentially coiling up making a series of higher lows that if we start to come back up we're looking at a 20 ema weekly retest so from here right now if that is actually fruitful off a 702 fib and we're looking at one more dump you could be all the way up there on these fibs here and this would be actually be a wave three because this would be a wave one look, look at this so there's some kind of wave one okay this is a wave two and then you'll be looking at a powerful wave three which will bring you all the way back up to this level of resistance so you could be looking at some kind of pump to the zero three eight six five where you get a pullback potential and then you're breaking out basically and that impulsive wave to the upside possibly possibly so from this low on the 702 fib all the way down there you could be looking at a minimal pump around about 18 percent for xrp uh, going forward okay and if it does start to do that that's going to start to look quite impulsive isn't it because you'd be taking out that high just there of this huge impulsive wave that you're potentially in right now so if we start to zoom out on the daily you can see exactly what i'm talking about the fact that you know you're still carving out this structural bottom at the moment for, for xrp potentially because you're holding this series of high lows okay and like i said to you it gets messy gets nasty but you could be looking at a 702 fib retracement right now this is a potential wave one high and right now you're coming back to retrace the 702 fib lovely little spot to you know go long or whatever with a really tight stop loss on buy bit ride it back up into resistance come back to support on the wave one high and then you confirmed a lovely little breakout here potential impulsive move and this is just subsets of waves within a large wave that you're potentially in here for xrp which would see you break out and come up to this 20 ema on the weekly time frame let's take a look at where that is okay look at that beautiful possible absolutely possible for xrp right there okay take care everyone hope you enjoyed that little update but remember everything i talk about on the channel is tradable okay you can go long you can go short you buy spot whatever you want to do the links are in each and every single video description buy bits a fantastic platform it's got an amazing sign up bonus bit gets a fantastic platform as well got an equally amazing sign up bonus take care everyone hope you enjoyed that little update stay healthy stay tuned bye bye